What's up guys? It is officially the best time of the year. It is now baseball season. It is also the time of the year that everybody is freaking out because they didn't do enough work in the off season to be prepared to throw as hard as they wanted to during their spring season. Not to worry, my name is Ashton King and I'm here to tell you five ways that you can increase your velocity in season as a baseball player. The first way that you can increase velocity in season as a baseball player is make sure that you are building volume and work capacity in a safe manner. If you sat on the couch all off season, everybody's been there, everybody's done that. The past is the past. With that being said though, you shouldn't go out and throw three bullpens in the next week to try to get prepared. You should be building a gradual on-ramp of both velocity and volume. That way, you can make sure that your arm is healthy, but also increasing and getting stronger as the season goes. You also have to take into account all of the extra time that you're going to be on your feet at practice, things along those lines. So with that being said, you need to make sure that you're accounting for that in your overall work capacity with your body, right? You went from sitting on the couch to being at practice for three hours. You went from making zero throws to 10 throws every five minutes from shortstop. You need to take this into account when you're building your overall workload. That way, again, your body is able to stay healthy and fresh throughout the course of the season. The next thing that you can do to increase your velocity in season is recover, 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 right? I'm not talking about sitting on normal tech boots for 30 minutes after every single practice. Sure, that's nice, but the best things that you can do for your recovery is sleep, eat, and hydrate. Those are the three things that you need to be focusing on in your recovery. You should be shooting for eight to nine hours a night if you're a middle, high school, or college player. I know, that's a ton. That means put away the Call of Duty controller, put away Snapchat, get in bed, make sure you're getting that eight to nine hours of rest. For every, if you wanna get eight to nine hours of rest, it means that you need to actually be in bed nine to 10 hours. Think about that when you're trying to plan your sleep and wake times. Also, you need to make sure that you're eating. You need to be fueling your body correctly. Don't go buy McDonald's and get a McChicken for lunch or a Sprite on the way to practice. Make sure that you're fueling your body with whole, nutritious foods, eating multiple meals per day, spreading out your meals three to five hours apart, and making sure that you are planning ahead. There's nothing worse than getting on a long bus trip, having not eaten since B block lunch at 10 a.m. that morning, and you have to play at five o'clock at night, then you don't get home from the bus at nine o'clock, so you go from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. without eating. Plan ahead, bring some snacks, maybe even meal prep. Another thing that you need to focus on is hydration to make sure that you're recovering well. You need to be making sure that you're drinking enough water, but you also need to be making sure that you're bringing in enough electrolytes. What needs to happen is, as you sweat things out, you also need to be intaking electrolytes to make sure that you are making the most of your hydration levels. Guys, I cannot stress it enough. Recover, recover, recover. This will not only increase your velocity in season, it'll help you stay healthy throughout the course of your season. The third thing that you can do to increase pitching velocity in season is weight lift. Everybody works really hard in the weight room in the off season. Well, maybe, I hope that you did, but even if you worked hard in the off season, it's not enough to not do it in season. You should be making one to 2% gains on every single key performance indicator in the weight room during the season. It's not enough to just maintain, you need to be getting better. Think about if you took three months off every single year from weightlifting during the season, during your high school career. By the end of your high school career, you've given up one entire year of weightlifting. I cannot stress enough how critical it is to make sure that you are continuing with a strong, structured weightlifting program in season so that you're able to maximize your progress during the course of your season. This will be a huge gain in not only being able to increase velocity, but also keeping your body healthy, strong, and mobile all in season. The fourth way that you can increase pitching velocity during the season is make sure that you're continuing to optimize and refine your mechanics. There's nothing worse than seeing a pitcher at the beginning of the year and the end of the year, and you see a gradual mechanical decline that could have been adjusted just by shooting some video during the season and checking in on his mechanics 
and fixing it with one small mechanical tweak or drill. Not to mention guys who make incredible progress in the off season and then just do the same drills over and over again during the season and not really getting any better. You can continue to update your drills and you can continue to refine your mechanics during the season. So two videos that you should be looking at is you should be looking at the open side, the way that I'm facing you right now. You should also be looking at some face on view, which would be from behind the backstop. These are great ways and great camera angles to make sure that you're continuing to check in and refine your mechanics throughout the course of the year. The fifth and maybe the most important way to increase throwing velocity during the season is make sure that you are on a strong, structured throwing program. It's not enough to go out and throw a bullpen once a week. You should have five to six days of throwing laid out for you so that you know how you are going to continue to progress in season. When are your bullpens? When are your velocity days? When are your long toss days? When are your recovery days? This also helps prevent overuse. There's nothing worse than a guy throwing 40 pitches on one day and 39 the next day because the pitch smart guideline says that he can. We should be laying out a five to six day development plan on how to make sure you are getting the most out of your throwing each and every day during the season. Here's a real quick rundown of the five ways that you can increase throwing velocity in season. Number one, make sure that you are building workload in a smart manner. Don't go out and throw three bullpens the first week because you've sat on the couch the whole off season. Make sure that you are following a gradual increase in both intensity and volume. Number two, recover, recover, recover. Make sure you're sleeping eight to nine hours a night. Make sure you're eating at consistent intervals and make sure your hydration is in check along with electrolytes. Number three is make sure you are continuing with your weightlifting program. It's okay to lift in season. Number four, make sure that you are continuing to progress and refine your mechanics and that they're not getting worse throughout the course of the year. And number five, make sure that you are following a strong throwing program week to week. This will help prevent overuse and make sure your body is in a good routine to be prepared to pitch in your next outing. If you thought these five tips to increasing throwing velocity during the season were helpful, make sure that you click the subscribe button, scroll down to the footer, check out our website, and follow me on Instagram. Talk soon. We'll see you next time.